I had my tonsils removed when I think I was either 10 or 11. Right. And like two or three years ago, I went to the doctor and he did the same thing. And I have the same problem where I can't relax my tongue. <laughs> and, and we fight for a bit. Eventually he, he looks and he's like, oh yeah, your tonsils look okay. And I'm like, I had my tonsils removed 24 years ago or whatever. He's like, okay, I lied. I couldn't see that. <laughs> oh, yeah, that? Yeah. Yeah. Totally Holy caught him. Holy shit, man, he an honest doctor, an honest lying doctor. Yeah. Wow. I think there's some relation there between dentistry and feet, the rest of the body. <laughs> and the placebo effect? Yeah, I think there's some relation there. Yeah, so, wow, I put this wadded paper in my mouth, and suddenly I'm strong. I'm like, Papa, I can grab stuff. And I held this dude down and bit him. It was awesome. My teeth were perfectly level, and I was so strong. <laughs> Then they use tinfoil and I can fly. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you something that fucking drives me crazy. What drives so, you crazy, Burns? So I'm gonna make up a number here, but this make is up a number. This is essentially what the number is. Four. Got a new address. A and new I address. Shut the I fuck up. I couldn't remember the new address. And let's just say the, the new address is 6714 Happy Lane. Okay. okay. And I I just couldn't remember 6714. I just could not fucking remember it. And I made that comment. I said I can't remember the number. And someone I know says to me, they go, oh, it's really easy to remember 6714. I go, how do you do it? They said, well, six plus seven is 13, except it's not, it's 14. <laughs> I went, that is so fucking stupid. I now I can't forget it. I can't fucking forget it. And it's like, now I'll never forget that address because that thing is, that's, a, that's such like a saying, stupid way to remember it. That's like saying like 21 plus three is a thousand, but it's not. not. Stripper. Now everybody at home and everybody here, I want you to imagine a stripper I don't know her name, but imagine a stripper with the name Dark Chocolate. That, that's exactly what okay. Brandon said. Her name is Dark Chocolate. Was her name really Dark Chocolate? Yeah, that's what okay, imagine a stripper. Imagine a stripper named Dark Chocolate. Make her three times as big. That was this stripper. Okay, they're all laughing. Apparently, she was really expensive. I don't believe that one no, bit. No, absolutely, it's absolutely true. I so twice as much. It was more. <laughs> I, I, I'm, 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 I'm getting a side by side. <laughs> Play-by-play -play story here, and I'm told it was twice Brent, as much. He is absolutely telling the truth. It was. Okay. It was more because she had a special talent. Yeah, I'm getting to that. Oh yeah, yeah. So, I I'm sitting in the chair. I don't want to be here. I'm like just dripping sweat, but I don't know how to like. Whenever I'm in an awkward situation, I just laugh. That's how I deal with nervously. nervously. So, she leans forward and she says the words. I'm gonna smother you in my titties. <laughs> and I just, I burst out <laughs> laughing. I just started laughing uncontrollably. And the next thing I know, it was and I couldn't, I'm, I'm suffocating, suffocating in her titties. And I'm laughing my ass off. It was, there was that. And, and then, and then, oh wait, what was the, all I remember The other was thing was she absolutely had a booty technique. <laughs> Dude, it was I all like, it was all, that. it was all like, sh she bent over and did the thing. Where I, it's I like, how I does someone do that. that? But no. The whole I time, was laughing, I was laughing. I'm laughing all right. in the face full of, it was, well, just, it was, it was, it was for, essentially just 30 seconds of me going, <laughs> Somewhere I see Jordan out in California going, <laughs> For the record, Brandon tells me that when he went and paid her and pointed at you, she looked at you and burst out laughing. <laughs> nice. Oh no. Nice. Okay. I, wait, wait, real quick, the last part <laughs> is I'm over <laughs> and she stops pissed. mid no. her thing and rears back and she looks at me and she goes, are you retarded or something? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> I said, no, I, I go, no, I'm just really having a hard first time. And just continue to laugh. And Kyle's by the camera, he's like, it's <laughs> beat red right now. The best part about that, the best it part was about awful. that is oh. while this is going on, Chris, who had also apparently never been to a strip club oh before, God, found it so funny, he takes out his phone <laughs> and, and tries to start recording it. And he's oh. like, ha, huh, and oh, filming it God. in like a second. There was like this the huge dude. He was like, he ripped the phone right out of his hands. And he's like, delete this. And he deleted it. And Chris was like, but it was just the fact that it was a pain in the middle of my chest that had moved yeah. well, that I never if it's felt on before. The right side, you're typically okay. Yeah, but I mean, it went from the right, moved to the middle. There's so I was, I was worried if it was going to move to the left. Because yeah. if you feel tingling on the left, like yeah. you're fucked and you're having a heart attack. Dark if you had to choose your last words, what would they be? God damn it. But I was, I was sitting That's there. Fair. I was sitting there before they told me, like, you know, it's not your heart or anything like that. It's just muscular. I'm sitting there and I told Lindsay afterwards, and I was like, I told myself, I'm like, God damn it, heart, you will not give out because I swear to God, if I die, every Colin ever will be like, oh, he rage quit life. <laughs> it's hard, it's hard. Quit. So I said, I had a moment. I'm, laying, I'm yeah. laying there in the oh, hospital bed. No. I said, I got to get hit by a car or something like that. I was like, I have to die in the most extravagant way ever. Yeah. I'm laying in the hospital bed, and I told her, I was like, I had, my brain had a conversation with my heart. It's like, all right, listen, fucker. 
No. Like, I don't care if you, like, fucking get hit by a car, you get squashed by an anvil, a fucking, you know, some whatever. You blow up an explosion, it will not be a heart problem. No. So, so then, even then, I tweet, is, and every fucking reply is like, oh, rage quiet. So, could you... I, I pointed out, as I do every single time we go to Los Angeles, said, hey, we're in Los Angeles, we're only five hours away from Vegas. And Vegas. I, just, I just pointed that out. Gus goes, I'm not going to Vegas. Because I, I go, knew where this was going. <laughs> he, go, he goes, I'm not going to Vegas. I go, what do you mean you're not going to Vegas? And he gets so fucking infuriated. He's in the back of the van. I'm driving. I'm like, what's, what are you, what's going on? Why are you so mad about Vegas? He goes, I'm not going to Vegas. Don't talk about <laughs> Vegas. And I said, <laughs> you're, you're, you're spinning this. Okay. You're spinning this. You had been saying, let's go to Vegas for about an hour at this point. I wanted people to go to <laughs> Vegas. You, 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 it was not just a casual a mention. And you were like, let's go to Vegas, let's go to Vegas. And that's when I was like, I'm not going to Vegas. So we're in the Del Taco parking lot in like downtown LA, like right on Transvestite Alley. Like, <laughs> it's it's great Alley, he's great Alley. Kidding. Is that the What's name that? of the street? I said, you're, he's not kidding. No, I'm not kidding. They were having like a screening of Cloud Atlas and then there was <laughs> oh. oh, come on. See, now that's people, okay. this would be that's good That's totally God fine. That's totally fine. Bernie. This podcast does not support I, Bernie's comments. I do not agree with Bernie. He's used by Bernie Burns and not supported by Bernie. He speaks for himself and only himself. So we're in the Del Taco drive through and I say, I say, <laughs> guys, look, I'm going to say one last time. We can just get, we get to Del Taco. We drive straight to Vegas from here. We've seen everything we're going to see at E3. So Gus says, Gus says, I swear to God, this is at 1 in the morning. <laughs> if you say Vegas one more time, I'm getting out of this van. I may or may not have been a little drunk at this point a as little? well. <laughs> I'm going to say may. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, I said, I said, fine. I said, I said, I, I go, okay, fine. I give up. I will not mention Vegas for us tonight. I apologize. No, no, no. Because you, I said Vegas. You said, you said, really? You're that upset? You would leave the van if I said Vegas? And I was like, <laughs> in my mind, I was like, he's testing me. I, was like, I just said I would leave the van, and he just <laughs> said it. I was, like, I was like, if I don't leave, he knows I'm a pussy. So I have to leave. Oh, no. I, listen, so I know I you're a so pussy angry. anyway, whether I, you're in I, the van or out of it. I don't know if you remember, I started punching the back of your seat. You did. <laughs> like a big pussy. I opened the van door. I just walked out <laughs> into the night. It was my first time ever in LA. And this was this was in 2001 before like iPhones and maps and shit. We were alive then too. Like, <laughs> like I walked a block down the street, realized my mistake. <laughs> what have I done? Yeah, I made a huge mistake. Like he's right, it was like, it, this was a sketchy ass part of LA. It was pretty Fuck. seedy. It yeah. was near, it was near I, Hollywood, right? It was like down, or like, yeah, it was near the Hollywood area. Yeah. So I walked. It's one of those places where you're like walking, you stop and you go, hey, do I know my blood type? Like you actually asked yourself <laughs> that question. Yeah, I, I walked into a 7 Eleven, withdrew cash from an ATM, uh -huh. and just started trying to find a cab. So I got a cab, I took a cab back to our hotel. Get I, this. Get. I, I, I packed all my shit and I was like, I'm flying back to Austin tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this. I'm going home. No. He left a note on the bed. Are you serious? <laughs> <Yes. laughs> see you in Austin, so I was bitch. Like, yeah, That's exactly what right. <laughs> No. Like, yeah. I wrote, see you in Austin, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> asshole. Wait, wait. So, so did you guys what? go to Vegas? No, no, no. So that, <laughs> no. So, so that they, they're, they're looking for me. They can't find me because I Yeah, because you're an on. asshole. They're the driving night. the so, streets in the ghetto so looking for I, I, I start calling the airline. I realize I cannot get on a flight that night. So I'm like, fuck. So I'm so spiteful and vindictive that I found another hotel to stay at. And I booked it gets a, worse. It gets a worse. night at the other what? hotel. It gets worse. How does I, it get worse? I had a cab take me over there. Okay. <laughs> These guys can't find me. I'm not responding to any of their phone calls You're or texts. fucking dickhead. <laughs> the next morning, they're like, hey, where are you? He has such regret. He's like, I'm at this hotel here. It takes us fucking three hours in a van to find him in LA because he doesn't know where he is. I told you, you, you didn't know where I was. We I were told driving you exactly everywhere, where I was. everywhere, and Jeff was Did like, "Did you call his name like Jeff, a lost dog?" Jeff says I was like slowly squeezing <laughs> the steering wheel so hard <laughs> that it was like pinching the steering wheel. And Jeff's just in the passenger seat like this, <laughs> watching me. And I was, he said, I got madder and madder. I got in a fight with a guy at a gas station because I stopped to ask directions. It was, a, it was a nightmare. Such a child. It was like the worst. And Matt was like. Who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> First time he's ever meeting Gus, that like he throws this tantrum. And, like he when he went off into the night, he throws open the side door of the van, he throws it open like this, and all you see is Gus silhouetted against the night sky like this. 
He's walking out of the air? Yeah. He's so mad. He's like, <laughs> Okay, wait, so what's your issue with Vegas? Like, what? No, no, like, I just didn't want to go to Vegas. And I was, I felt like I was being forced to go to Vegas. You had a bad answer. So what? what? What happened? I, I didn't want to so go. Right. I didn't go to Vegas. Don't go to Vegas. I took you to Vegas, like, three or four years later, and you loved it. I like Vegas. Yes. I just didn't want to go at that time. It was, like you said, it was late at night. I didn't want to spend five hours in a van with Gus my contacts in. You are such a stubborn get there. fuck. You are so fucking stubborn. I am. <laughs> it is infuriating. I was gonna how say when you are. we were in LA, Jack and I, we were there for like a machinima thing. We went to this place called Waffle House, or is it just called no, Waffle? The, the Waffle. The, the Waffle. Best place and we went in there, the, and we met in, people in there, LA. and like Jack's like, oh, "I'm gonna go to Waffle." Uh, Jay or Dan there? Jordan Sear, Sears. Can I say, Jordan Michael, Sears? can I interrupt you for just yeah. one second? Go ahead. I love that your voice for Jack. Is the same as your voice for the internet. Yeah, I whatever. Why. I just love yeah. it so much. Jack's like, oh, what are you doing? <laughs> um, I'm gonna build that. So house. We, we go to we go to the, the the waffle house or whatever. Again, I already waffle. forgot the, the waffle. waffle. Sure. The waffle. Well, I don't mean to do it. Waffle is just The waffle is okay. amazing. Okay, so we go to the waffle, right? The and waffle it's is it's, a it's a diner, right? It's a it's a breakfast place, and they have lots of good food. But we go there, and we met other people there from Machinima, and Jack's like, I'm gonna get this waffle, and someone's like, I'm gonna get this waffle, and everyone's like, I'm gonna get this waffle, I'm gonna get this waffle, and I was like, Yeah, I'm gonna get this. And it was like a cheeseburger or something with like an egg on it. And Jack was like, you're not going to get a waffle? And I was like, no, I want a waffle. He's like, it's called the waffle. Why are you going to waffle? It's called the waffle. Yeah, but I didn't know what I did. But I didn't pick the fucking place. You're like, this is where we're going. And like he had a fit that I was the only one there that didn't get a waffle. So because I'm an idiot, I was like, I just kept playing it up. And I was like, Oh, my burger has an egg on it. Can you believe it? So I kept saying to Jordan, like, when I got it, I was like, it's got an egg on it. So, like, to this day, like, if I go out to eat and I get a burger, I'll order it with an egg and then tweet it to Jordan. I'll be like, look at it. Like, one time I went out, this is like months and months later, and Lindsay ordered a cheeseburger with an egg on it. I was like, oh, you got to tweet it to Jordan. You got to tweet it to Jordan. And she was like, why? I'm like, just do it. Just do it. He'll get it. He'll get it. And she tweeted it, and she's like, why did I do that? I'm like, oh, I'm not going to tell you. I have an idiot friend. I'm not pointing at you because he's like you, but he's not, you're not the idiot friend. He actually said this. He said that God. if he fell out of a plane, he would aim for a mountain. He would aim for a mountain. To hit the angle? And he'd run. <laughs> <laughs> and he, the thing is, that would probably work. Yeah. Oh, it would not oh, work. It would. It would work. Because you'd be like. You'd be falling like this versus an angle. No, 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 no. You'd be you'd be, you'd be glancing and you'd be slowing no. down with each one. You'd no. Up, it's, up, it's, up. You, you'd hit it and you'd fucking. You'd be a no. stain on the side it's of Everest. <laughs> The first glance, you lose your left foot. Then you lose your right foot. And then you're tumbling. Your, your hip tumbling. comes out of the socket. <laughs> your leg goes flying. He was convinced. He, he almost wanted to jump out of a plane to prove it could be done. Someone broke into his house at gunpoint, sodomized him, and videotaped it. Fuck. <laughs> well, I'd be okay with that. Do you would be okay penthouse. with getting sodomized? Yeah, well, I mean, they're home? just making the evidence, aren't they? I'd be like, well, thank God you're filming this. <laughs> 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 If this was going on when there was nobody looking, I'd be like, well, I don't I'm, think you would ever at any God. point. No, okay, if I was at gunpoint, I was just, filming this. I'm at gunpoint and I'm receiving someone. <laughs> I would be thankful that there's evidence of that. So I could, I mean, there's evidence, right? What if it's just a dark room and nobody could see? I'd just be like ruined for life. Ruined. <laughs> be oh. damaged goods. Then I posed the horrible question to Barbara, which was, have you ever measured the depth of your vag ever? Have you never thought about it ever? No, women don't like do when you that. Get a stick and measure a pond. I, listen, I'm, I, I, <laughs> okay. Here's the question though: What, people, is, what people, is the point? People want to know stuff. People want to know. It's metrics. It goes back to like weighing your have shit you and stuff ever, like that. It's just metrics. Ever That's a good asked point. A woman. You guys have a 45-minute conversation about measuring your feces. I bring up measuring a perfectly normal thing, and people act like I'm a fucking I'm, lunatic. I'm agreeing with you. Okay, good. Have you ever once in your life wondered? Or asked a woman how deep she is? No. <laughs> really find out? Well, it's kind of important to know when you're packing what I'm packing. <laughs> like, how, just so we're clear, baby, how deep, how deep is this? Hey, people saw that Luigi picture from last night. <laughs> I didn't judge people like You this. just like, called Maggie Gyllenhaal a painting that got rained on. <laughs> I don't judge anyone. What the fuck? No, but I wouldn't like... That is literally the worst thing I've ever said about another human being. No, but I wouldn't have a, a, it's different though. That's just like, that's what she looks like. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my fault she's hideous. It's not my fault she actually looks like that. <laughs> oh my God. Wow, that was awesome.